antioxidant supplements in cancer survivors. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, once a person's been treated successfully for cancer, are there any dietary lifestyle and supplementation strategies that have been shown to reduce the risk that cancer will recur or to help stop the spread of cancer? And the answer is yes. Now, one of the strategies that's been shown to be effective in, in a, a couple of very important clinical trials is the use of antioxidant supplements. Many animal experiments had shown this over the years, but the very first human clinical trial was published in 1994 and then the follow-up again in 1996. The first publication in the molecular aspects of medicine in 1994 by Lockwood and Fokers. What they did is they took women who had survived breast cancer, but the breast cancer had already spread to the axillary lymph nodes. So in the, in the medical literature, it's very clear that these are very high-risk women, that even after successful medical treatment, the chance of the cancer coming back again or spreading to the bones, to the liver, and further through the lymphatic system was significant. And you know that over a period of 18 months, 24 months, and so on, that some of those women are going to have a relapse. So they took these women who were in this very high-risk category, and they took a subgroup of them, and they gave them after their medical treatment, not instead of medical treatment, after the medical treatment was done, gave them vitamin C at 2,850 milligrams a day, vitamin E at 2,500 IUs a day, beta carotene 54,000 IUs a day, selenium 387 micrograms a day, plus a, a, a multiple vitamin and mineral. They gave them essential fatty acids with both omega-3 fats and an, and an omega-6 fat called uh, GLA or gamma linolenic acid because those have had anti-cancer properties associated as well. And also coenzyme Q10 between 90 and 380, uh, 390 milligrams a day. So what were the observations after they followed these women for 18 months and then two years? Th these were the outcomes. None of the patients died during the study period. Whereas in the medical literature, 12.5% of them should have died over the ensuing first 18 months, none of the women who took the supplements had any further relapse of their disease. They were all alive 18 months and then 24 months later. None of the patients showed any signs of further metastasis, and their quality of life scores were very high. They, none of them were losing weight. They didn't have to use a lot of painkillers or other medications for quality of life issues. And six of the patients, actually had a reversal of their disease. That means even in the lymphatic nodes, you were seeing a regression of the disease. And that was most common in women using the higher doses of coenzyme Q10. And the second follow-up in 1996 of the same women showed the same results. So why don't all cancer survivors, why aren't they all put on a supplement protocol like that, if they've had breast cancer in particular? I believe it's because there's a bias against the use of any natural agents that are useful for cancer patients that's imposed on the medical profession largely by the education they get from very large drug companies. And so a lot of doctors never even see this research. Here's another example, Dr. Dean Ornish, who took patients that had localized prostate cancer of a medium to moderate grade, and they chose not to have surgery, and he took half the group, and put them on a low, his, his Dr. Deanish, Dean Ornish low-fat diet, and gave them su high supplements of vitamin C and vitamin E and selenium, all at doses higher than you could get from food alone. Same with the previous study. You couldn't get those doses from food alone. You need supplements. And then the, and he followed both the group that went on his nutritional protocol with supplements and the group that just kept eating the way that they wanted to. And what he showed is that the group that used the low-fat diet and the supplements actually showed that their prostate-specific antigen was dropping down and stabilizing the disease. In fact, the tumors are then likely shrinking. So we see that we have this success. But the evidence isn't just for antioxidants. There's other nutrition and supplementation strategies that are very appropriate for people that have had cancer. So what I want you to do is click on the link below and read my article called Can Antioxidant Supplements Slow Aging in Humans and Decrease Risk of Degenerative Diseases? The article highlights many of the positive studies that show the effects of antioxidants on uh, reversing precancerous states, improving outcomes for patients that have had certain types of cancer and other conditions. All the scientific references are there so you'll see that you're getting good evidence-based information from me. 
Now, machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review articles, footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads, resources, videos I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my review papers and teaching materials have all the scientific references in them, so you'll know you're getting only sound scientific information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use machinohealth.com. It's an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.